little kitty. Don't forget to put on the oxygen tank. O2 is so overrated. <laughs> Absolutely not, kitty. Hey, friends. Oxygen may not be the most abundant gas in the atmosphere, but it is undoubtedly the most important one. Yes, so important that we can't handle its absence even for five seconds. So, in today's episode, let me take you through the world without O2 and answer a world-shattering question. What if the Earth lost oxygen for just five seconds? Zoom in! Now, as we know, holding our breath for merely five seconds doesn't seem to be a big deal and some of us can even hold it up to a minute. But it is not the same case with everything else. Forget about a minute. In just five seconds, without oxygen, the world would look entirely different. How? Let us see, or shall I say, we won't be able to see that clearly as the absence of O2 will turn the bright sky into dark and gloomy. Yes, that's because sunlight reaches the Earth's surface due to multiple reflections that occur when light particles bounce off the particles in the air, like dust, molecules, etc. So, without the oxygen in our environment, there will be fewer particles for the light to bounce on. So, the sky would appear as dark as night. And it's not only the sky above us, but the Earth's surface below us too will also get affected by the lack of O2. Yes, as oxygen constitutes 45% of the Earth's crust, without it, the earth below us would disappear and we would free-fall down into the ground. And in case you are busy chilling on the beach, be prepared to get burnt skin. Yes, that's because the ozone layer that protects us from the harmful UV radiation is entirely composed of oxygen. So, basically, Without this O2 shield, the Earth will turn into an oven. But what if you decide to run into the water to save your skin for a while? Well, as we know, water consists of two parts of hydrogen, one part of oxygen. So, without the 33% oxygen, water would be free hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas, being the lightest of all the elements, will fly to the upper troposphere and gradually vanish into the vastness of space. So probably, the Earth could be a massive planet of only deserts in almost no time at all without our precious oxygen. At the same time, losing oxygen will eventually result in losing 21% of air pressure this would cause our eardrums to explode due to a condition called barotrauma. It is an injury sustained from failure to equalize the pressure of an air-containing space with that of the surrounding environment. In short, we will suffer from hearing loss. And as oxygen is a critical binder in concrete structures, without it, the compounds do not hold their rigidity so our eyes will witness the slow and cruel crumbling of our world as all the buildings and monuments will begin to collapse. Even vehicles operating on any type of fuel relying on internal combustion engines would stop since there isn't any oxygen for the combustion process. And we would see aircrafts and helicopters falling from the sky for the same reason. Phew! So, we should be thankful to Mother Nature for the gift of oxygen. Trivia time! Did you know the oxygen we breathe to live roughly makes up 21% of our atmosphere? Yes, 
and nearly 78% is nitrogen and 1% consists of carbon dioxide and other gases. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. <laughs>